Sources tell Fox News that President Trump is expected to announce as early as tomorrow that he is ending the Obama-era Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals program known as DACA. Rather than cut it off, the president would allow the program to lapse, meaning that so-called dreamers could stay until their work permits expire, which for some could be as long as two years. President Trump is facing a September 5th deadline on DACA. That is when Texas and nine other states plan to sue the administration if the president doesn't move to end it. The group Federation for American Immigration Reform, which opposed DACA, applauds the idea of letting the program lapse. And in good faith, Donald Trump has to make an effort to end these programs. It's a very good opportunity for the Democrats to turn around and say, hey, you know, do we really care about these folks? If so, maybe they'll start to work with Trump. Republican strategist Liz Mayer, who's been a leading critic of ending DACA, believes letting it lapse is the wrong thing to do. It will have negative economic consequences and negative consequences for a lot of players and a lot of people who benefit from having dreamers in the economy in terms of being taxpayers and consumers. In the election campaign, candidate Trump railed against DACA, insisting for President Obama to arbitrarily carve out an exception to U.S. immigration law was unconstitutional. We will immediately terminate President Obama's two illegal executive amnesties in which he defied federal law and the Constitution. But as president, sources say, he came to a deeper understanding of the situation surrounding children who had no say in the fact they were brought into this country illegally by their parents. We're going to show great heart. DACA is a very, very difficult subject for me, I will tell you. To me, it's one of the most difficult subjects I have because you have these incredible kids. I love kids. I have kids and grandkids. And I find it very, very hard doing what the law says exactly to do. At one point, the president told dreamers that they were the least of his priorities when it came to addressing illegal immigration. They shouldn't be very worried. They are here illegally. They shouldn't be very worried. I do have a big heart. We're going to take care of everybody. But the political pressure on the president was inevitably moving toward ending the program.